<clears throat> okay, now I have to decide how I want to do my handle. Um, so thinking about, oh, do I want it to be a top pouring handle um, where I hold on and go like this? I kind of have to think about like getting my lid off. Um, do I want to take two little bits of this that I pulled and put them up like this or on this side like this? And then I can have a, either a made handle that I, that I weave to go on top or um, one that you can purchase that will fit on there. Um, or do I just want like more of a traditional handle that comes off and um, I'm just pouring like you know, more of a normal teapot. So I think with this one, I'm probably going to do a more traditional handle. So I just want to attach my handle like I attach handles on everything. Um, so I want to make a nice clean cut um, in a curve so it fits the, the pot. Um, and then I'm going to come here and just like line everything up, kind of get it figured out to how I want it before I make my cuts because um, I don't want to have to wait until my handle dries again to attach it. Um, so I also want to make sure that I'm sitting so I can see that my handle is straight with my spout. Um, taking a step back from your teapot so if you can get this to stay um, stay somehow um, you know maybe propping it up with some clay or something um, and then give this like a little push in and then just taking a step back from your teapot and seeing what you think um, it's sometimes a good idea just because it's when you're right on top of it it's hard to see how everything is looking um, and then just like you attach other things I want to mark where my handles gonna be on the top and the bottom I can set my handle down make sure that this is all nice and smooth and ready to be attached and then I can do my scoring again so I know it the top is right there so I'm just gonna do some scoring you know kind of keeping in line with my spout so I can do a little line right there I know that's the middle of my spout come down do some scoring down here just trying to make sure that I'm nice and centered um, then gently holding my handle, scoring right there, um, scoring right here, sometimes I'll put a piece of foam down on here so I can lay my teapot down and kind of have a, a couple more hands to attach my handle. Um, but when you're attaching, just make sure that it's really nice and straight before you get everything smoothed in. So I'm really trying to make sure that I'm lined up and straight. Um, If you can, you can stick your hand on the inside and kind of get a little pushback um, when you're attaching. Just watch your gallery, but just like attaching any other handle. So I'm kind of smoothing in, giving a little push. I don't want my handle to fall off. Um, so I'm going to dry it really slowly. The three S's you can remember. Score, slip smooth. After I get everything like smooth and kind of on there, I can go back and do a little bit of refining with my handle. 
um, so I can kind of give it a little lift if I want to. Um, again, just making sure that it's nice and straight before you do any of that final smoothing. Because once you get it smoothed on there, it's harder to get it off without it and reattaching it without it starting to look overworked. So you just want to try to make sure oh, everything's really straight. Um, and then also how it fits with your lid. Just kind of keep checking in with all those parts. It just has a lot of parts. Um, so I can use a paintbrush around. Do any final cleanup. Um, just again, making sure that I'm straight. Smoothing in. Getting those attachments. Checking in to make sure, do I really like that shape? Is this making it look too heavy down here in the bottom? Maybe I wanted to cut that at a different angle. Um, so I think it is making it look a little heavy, so I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna cut it at a different angle. So I don't want it at this angle, I want it more at this angle. Um, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way and then take this off. Do some scoring again down here since I just took it off and then kind of check in. I think I want it more lifted like that. And just eep, checking in with straightness. So I totally made it on center. And sometimes like your designs will throw you off a bit. So I'm actually crossing over this diagonal line. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at stuff. Um, okay, so I'm gonna continue to attach and refine. Um, and that's it.